For those who can't quite remember why they decided to embark on the arduous journey of exhibition fabrication, a refresher course is in order. Little known to some, but carefully crafted by many, the process involves more than just slapping together some tables and chairs, it requires planning and precision. From conception to completion, there are several steps involved in bringing an exhibition concept into reality. Pre-manufacture checklist. The first step in the exhibition fabrication process is pre-manufacture planning. This involves creating a checklist for materials, tools, and components that are necessary for the successful assembly of the display booth or other exhibit elements. The list should include items such as connectors, screws, aluminum extrusions, and other structural components, electrical wiring, fittings, and fixtures, glazing panels and frames, signage graphics, banners, and flagpoles, lighting equipment, sound system components, furniture units and seating areas. It is important to identify any special requirements such as fire resistance levels or anti-glare properties which may be required by local regulations. Identify trade show goals. The process of exhibition fabrication begins with the identification of trade show goals. This is an important step in ensuring that any event achieves desired results and meets its objectives. These goals can include increasing brand awareness, generating leads, or launching a new product. It is also essential to consider budget constraints when setting these goals so they can be achieved within the allocated funds. Identify budget allocate. Once the exhibition fabrication process has been identified, it is important to allocate a budget. This will ensure that the necessary resources are available and can be appropriately allocated in order to maximize the impact and efficiency of the project. Without an accurate allocation of financial resources, projects may struggle with delays or inadequate materials leading to dissatisfied stakeholders and audiences. Aligned on needs slash requirements. Once the budget and allocated funds are identified, an evaluation of needs and requirements must be done in order to align all stakeholders. This includes identifying design concepts that will enable successful project completion while meeting desired outcomes. To do this, a detailed assessment is needed to understand how resources can be used effectively throughout the exhibition fabrication process. Approved Rendering Creating an approved rendering of a proposed exhibition is the first crucial step in the fabrication process. It requires intricate attention to detail and extensive communication between designers and clients. Like a mosaic coming together, each individual piece must fit perfectly into place for the final product to be complete. To begin, designers produce concept drawings that capture the overall vision for their project. This helps the client visualize how the exhibit will look once it's been built. Fabrication Methods Exhibition fabrication involves a variety of methods. The most common method is welding, which uses heat to join metal components together in order to create strong and durable structures. Welding can be done with either manual or automated techniques, depending on the size and complexity of the project. Other fabrication methods include cutting, bending, forming, machining, sanding, and finishing. Cutting is used for shaping materials such as sheet metal and plastics into specific shapes by using saws and other tools. Bending is the process of transforming flat material into curved pieces that are often used for decorative purposes. Forming involves manipulating different types of metals into desired shapes through pressure or force. Fabrication materials. Fabrication materials are an essential part of the exhibition fabrication process. The type and quality of material used will determine the success or failure of a display's design. There is a wide range of materials available for use in exhibit fabrication, including wood, metal, fabric, and glass. These four materials, along with others like plastic wrap or acrylic resin, may be used in various configurations to achieve the desired results, depending on the specifics of the project at hand. Graphic Displays Graphic displays are an integral part of exhibitions and can be used to reinforce the message behind the exhibition. The first step in creating graphic displays is to determine what type of graphics will be necessary for the project. This includes deciding if traditional printed materials such as posters, banners, or signs should be used, or if digital media such as videos and interactive screens should be included. 
Once these decisions have been made, graphic designers must create assets tailored to meet the requirements of each display medium. Budget Determination Factors Once a design concept has been established, it is important to consider the budget and timeline for the exhibition fabrication process. This requires an understanding of all costs associated with producing and installing a display as well as any additional logistics or services required to make the project a success. With careful planning and knowledge about budgeting considerations along with professional guidance from experienced experts in this field, one can successfully plan their next exhibition fabrication process while taking into account both financial constraints and creative ambitions alike. Exhibition Booth Type and Size Numerous factors, including booth size, design, and layout, should be taken into account when deciding on the best type of booth to use at an exhibition. There is a wide variety of booth options, from static display boards to elaborate displays with interactive features. A booth's dimensions should be set in accordance with the available floor space at the event and the desired level of exposure and impact of the exhibit. Exhibitors need to think about how many people they expect to attract to their booth when deciding how big to make it. Design Materials The exhibition fabrication process is a vital step to the success of any booth. As the saying goes, dress for success, this adage applies to exhibitions as well. The design materials used in an exhibit can be just as important as their size and type when it comes to making an impact. A professional designer will take into consideration factors such as color, texture, and lighting while selecting items that are appropriate for the specific industry or purpose of the event. Designing effective exhibits allows companies to showcase their best assets while connecting with potential customers or partners at events, all through careful selection of materials that reflect the goals set by organizers. With thoughtful planning and execution, exhibiting teams can bring their vision alive and capture visitor interest like never before. Venue Parameters Venue parameters play a pivotal role in the exhibition fabrication process. It is essential to consider all of the characteristics, restrictions, and variables that come with working within any given environment. This includes obtaining documentation on how much space will be allotted for the project, along with measurements relating to load-in and out locations. The floor plan must also be taken into account, this involves ensuring accessibility to areas such as restrooms, fire exits, and elevators while allowing sufficient room for displays and other planned activities. Transportation of the design Once the design of an exhibition stall has been finalized, it is time to bring it to life. This involves a careful transportation process that needs to be undertaken with precision and finesse. It begins by carefully selecting the appropriate materials for the job. The material should be able to survive harsh conditions when transported overseas or within the country, as well as be lightweight enough for easy installation on site. Exhibition Stall Installation Exhibition stall installation is a complex process that requires careful planning and execution. It includes the construction of exhibition stands, display panels, counters, graphic designs, furniture, and other necessary elements for a successful event. Exhibition stall design should be aligned with the overall theme of the event to ensure maximum impact on visitors. The stalls must also be designed in accordance with safety regulations and local building codes. The materials used for constructing an exhibition stand are critical for its success. Different materials such as wood, metal, plastic, or fabric can be used depending upon their suitability for the particular project. Specialized tools may also be required to assemble intricate pieces like columns and arches. Exhibition Stall Dismantle The process of dismantling an exhibition stall requires careful planning. It is important to have the right tools and materials available, as well as adequate personnel to carry out the task efficiently. The first step involves removing any remaining promotional material from the walls or furniture in the booth. This should be done carefully so that all items can be reused for future events if necessary. After all marketing matter has been removed, it's time to start taking apart the structure itself. Depending on its design, this may require unscrewing panels or components from each other. If there are any graphics attached to structural elements, these must also be removed before disassembly begins. 
Additionally, any electrical equipment such as lights or sound systems will need to be disconnected and packed securely for transport away from the site after dismantling. All stages of the exhibition fabrication process require skillful coordination between parties involved in order to create a successful trade show experience for attendees. By following these steps, exhibitors can ensure their display accurately reflects their brand identity while providing maximum impact within their allocated space.